Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take about five minutes to practice a quick little stretch that you can do either before or after a workout. Join me back here and we're going to get started in a standing position. So beginning in a mountain pose, we're going to drop into the feet, really press the feet evenly into the earth, relax the shoulders away from the ears, and just start to maybe close down the eyes or soften the gaze. Breathing here. If you just completed a workout, we're going to start to bring that heart rate down in a natural and healthy way. And just bring some awareness to the breath, softening where you can. Nice. And when you're ready, if the eyes were closed, open them. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And exhale, drop the hands down by the sides. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, root to rise. We float the arms high through the sky. And exhale, soften, release, let go. In breath, sweep the arms, big full breath in. And a big full breath out. Nicely done. Give it a little shake, wiggle it out. So um, this workout would be great if you were at the park. Um, I'd love for you, to, or if you're at your house, find a piece of equipment, a sturdy chair, maybe a park bench to uh, just have a little bit of support here. We're gonna begin with a heel lift. So maybe the fingers are on your support prop. Um, maybe you do challenge yourself and place the hands on the waistline. We're just gonna begin by lifting and lowering the heels back and forth, maybe rocking on the ball of the foot. So really activating through that calf muscle, stimulating and stretching the fascia of the feet. So that connective tissue on the feet. So key to keep the feet nice and healthy, strong and stable as we continue to move throughout our day. Nice. On this last time, lift and hang out right here. You got this. Practice playing with the balance. Maybe you do float both fingers off the chair for three two, one, drop it down, maybe march it out. <laughs> nice, our next move is gonna be a crescent lunge. So kind of getting into this lower body, we're just working our way up. Let's um, place the fingers on your prop. We're gonna step, press through the left foot, step the right foot behind. Nice, and then that back heel is gonna stay lifted, bend through that front knee. So left knee is gonna bend, maybe the right knee bends as well. Upright through the spine, so connecting head over heart, heart over pelvis. Maybe you softly draw that belly button in just to engage that 360 core. And staying right here, or if you do wanna go a bit deeper, you need a little bit more stretch, maybe you start to hinge over the hips, placing hands on the chair or the, or the upper thigh bone. And you could also, if your back knee is bent, you might work to straighten it, getting a different stretch here. Breathe. So good for you. And then when you're ready, let's step it forward. We'll take it to the other side. Press through the right foot or the opposite foot, whichever side you started on. We're gonna step that left foot behind. Bend through front knee, bend through back knee. Just notice how the tailbone just naturally wants to tuck when you bend through that back knee. Stay upright, or if you're ready, come with me. We're gonna hinge at the hips and fold forward, maybe working to straighten through that back leg. Breathe. Notice what this doing in the right hip, the lower body. Noticing what you notice here. Nice, step it forward. Next move, we're gonna take a downward facing dog with a support. So fingers to the back of your chair. Let's step both feet back. Tailbone reaches long, arms reach long. Your knees might be bent a little bit or a lot. You might work to straighten through the legs. It could feel nice to kind of just shift the hips side to side. So my feet are about hips width apart, giving me a nice wide base of support. You might just rock, press through one foot as you bend the other, straightening the knee and then bending the knee and be here for another breath or two. Nicely done. And when you've had enough, you can stay there as long as you need to, but when you've had enough, step forward. 
Next, we're gonna practice a hamstring stretch. So this is a little different for all of us. What I'd like for you to do is press in through the right foot. We're gonna to start to bend that left knee back. So left foot comes towards the bum. Now, this could be a nice stretch for you, but if you need a little bit more, you might begin to reach towards the ankle or the foot and draw it a little closer towards your backside. Breathe here. Now there's no right or wrong, just what's best for you in this posture. So if you cannot reach the back of the foot, that's okay. Just noticing, notice what you notice and see where that stretch feels best for you. Nice, let that go. We're gonna take it to the front. So bending through that left knee, if you're following along with me, we're gonna to start to hug that knee in towards the chest. You got your prop right here if you need a little extra balance support. Maybe you roll the ankle around a few times. Nicely done. And then shake it out, let it all go. Let's take it to the other side. So again, if you're following along, press through that left foot. We're going to start to bend that right foot back towards the bum. Stay right there or reach back. Nice. I'm going to release through the hamstrings. They get really tight sometimes, especially if we're more sedentary. So it's great to stretch, get a little extra flexibility, strengthen these areas. Nice. When you've had enough, we'll drop that foot down. And then we're going to bring that right knee towards the chest. Just noticing if one side's a little bit more stable than the other, that's perfectly natural. And also our balance changes day to day hour to hour, sometimes minute to minute. So just check in with your balance. Maybe you're rolling the ankle around with me. Breathe. So good, drop it down, maybe shake it out. We have one last move. And if you have a chair, go ahead and have a little seat here. We're gonna practice a pigeon pose. So keep the right foot where it is. You have three options. This is gonna be a great stretch, again, for the hamstrings, but also the outer hips. So hug that left knee in towards the chest for me. And then you can cross the left foot over the right. You might cross the knee if that's available, or you could take it to a pigeon or a figure four. Nice, a nice little flex in the left foot. Let's take a breath here. Nice, you might start to hinge over that leg and just noticing a deeper or a different type of stretch. You don't have to overdo it. You know, meet yourself where you are today. Have that grace to protect your body. Right? You did the right thing. You, you stretched after or before a workout. I applaud you for that. Gently roll on out of there. We're gonna drop that foot down and let's take it to the other side. So three options, you could cross the ankle, cross the knee, or take it over the upper thigh bone. Find a breath. Softening, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the jaw, the skin of the face. Nice, when you're ready, hinge forward, a little or a lot. We make these stretches, especially our own, so just tapping into how your body's feeling, what's your body asking for. Nicely done. Go ahead and roll on out of there. We're gonna drop that foot down. Let's take one final move. You can take the feet wide, press the palms forward, drop the hands by the side, take an angel breath. Inhale, sweep the arms. Mm, exhale, let it go. Nice job, so proud of you, thank you. Give yourself a little round of applause, a pat on the back, you did a great thing today, taking good care of your body. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching my video and staying till the end, thanks for being here. If we've not met, I'm Emily, I'm a yoga teacher and registered nurse and a wellness professional. And I've created this channel to help other people feel good in their bodies, to get us more active and to uh, support you in your wellness journey. So if you would like, I'd love for you to head over to my website and grab your gentle stride guide. This is a beginner's guide to walking that I've created for you. You can absolutely 
um, check out my other walking videos and yoga videos and let me know how things are going. I'd love to hear from you. Um, like, share the video, you know, all the YouTube things, and that's going to help other folks find me. So until next time, happy walking. I'm so glad to have you along and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.